Cool sign. The worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business. Fantastic. Well, here we are, guys. <laughs> Not good. It's actually, like, kind of cool. Dude, this guy looks Let's scared go, shitless. Assholes. You want to make problems, you son of a bitch? Uh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? I no can't. speak of the English? Here. Oh, what an ass. Let me teach you. What do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? What a dick. Now, get your ass up and no, get back please. in line. No. no. Hey, smart ass, don't make me repeat myself. Dude, are back you for in real? Line. Move it! Stop right there. Turn to your right. Your other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terran Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose. Just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Oh, this seems charming. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, Oh my god, that's ball. nice. This is bad, man. Cutting his hair. Or shaving his head, I guess. He looks weird bald. Or I guess he's not bald, but like with really, really short hair like that. He looks really weird. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you fucking I should just told. turn around and punch this guy straight in the face. I really should. But you can't, so whatever. Listen. Pretty boy, if you ain't gonna do what you're told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. As dirty as that Follow sounds, I'm not interested. Think about the whole thing. It's a joke, by the way, guys. I know what the hole is. <sighs> but we're being taken to our cell. Fantastic. Can smell you new fish that is so home. creepy get in wow nice self this is just beautiful and be quiet assholes it's good for you this is depressing This was gonna be my new home for the next ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. Yeah, to be honest, so would I. Three days later, okay. After three action packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on Yeah, your you home. definitely cannot uh 
survive on your own in prison. Like as dumb as I think gangs are and and shit. If you don't join a gang in prison, you're gonna die. Like I guarantee it, you're gonna get just beaten to death. I mean, you're, you'll probably die anyway, but you have a way better chance of surviving if you're in a gang. So. I know you. Oh, look who it is. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in a jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you Ooh. back! This looks interesting. Wanna make a small bet? Let's do it. Time for a This is gonna be a great fight. This guy's pretty tough. Come on, you grown retard. Again, this is like the perfect example of like the Italian Irish feud. This is gonna be easier than the time I shoved the potato your mother's Good one, Vito. Little faggots like you for breakfast. Huey <laughs> faggots for breakfast. <laughs> Step back. Okay, Could you hear me? Enough. Break it Get out of here. To use a Move it. Oh, great. We're going to give you a little time to think about what you've done. Jeez, police brutality much. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. Let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. Two, and two days later. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah, uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from when I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows? Maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? <laughs> I don't True. remember asking. It's a good answer. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. Today we're going to work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas, let's get going. That a boy, Pepe. That's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey, we supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? Most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here, <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Nice, kid, nice. nice Give me two more of them. All right, one more of you. Shit, that had a nice. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. 
Nice work. Wow, awesome. So, how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah. Like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle, <laughs> you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have yep. a lot of explaining to do. Like the commission. Oh, jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about to it some other time. explain things to the commission. Get to know the other guys, okay. How's it going? I'm Vito. Chris, how can I help you? I'm looking to go a few rounds. You interested? Buddy, I'm busy. Try Al. Over there. Hell of a job with that asshole O'Neal. Nice. Next time, do us all a favor and snap the prick's neck, yeah, sure. would you? How's old man Galanti know so much about boxing? Never know by looking at him now. He was a prize fighter back in the day. Damn good one, too. No shit. Yeah, on, heard he used to fight in bare point. knuckle matches before he went pro. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, Vito? Name's Sal. Yeah, hey, nice really work in the ring. Small fortune on all the bets he takes. Nice work in the ring, buddy. A little more of that, and you'll be ready for a real fight. Keep it up. Hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Sam, how you doing? Come on, give me a. Hey, you want to spar? Not really. Sorry. Sorry. I'm kind of busy here, alright? Alright, whatever. Let's go. Yeah, that's it. Apparently no one wants to talk, so... Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? <laughs> yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Get out there and show him what you're made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after huh. eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> I, I hope so. I love fortune cookies. It, they taste good. We just wrecked that guy. Uh, yeah, this no happen if you use I'll show you style. a tiger style, you piece of shit. A week later, cool. Can't move. Let's go, Scaletta. Oh, work. That's no fun. Working sucks. What do we have to do? Hey, listen. Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Oh, sweet. Don't we don't have to get work. Used to it, All right. Come with me, Vito. Wow, this old guy's awesome. What, are we going to train some more? Uh, sort of. You'll see. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Alrighty. 
The guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard. But he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Ooh, looky here. I'ma take this skinny-ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his <laughs> mama's Good mama one. gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. <sighs> Oh, come on, my grandmama hit me hotter than that. Oh. Hey, when a little brother Laying down on a job like always. <laughs> Man who taught him. No, no, no. Grab him and finish. All right, kid. Now Bam. Put his lights out. Nice. <laughs> Man, Vito's an awesome fighter. He just whips these guys. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. Ooh, visitors you are fun. Visitor. Probably like his mom or something. Actually, no, probably Joe. Oh. <laughs> or his sister. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... Just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks, and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh, you keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Yeah, I don't think Vito really needs that money, because, like, once he, like, gets out, he'll have all that back in, like, a couple days anyway. <laughs> like, the same amount of money. I feel bad for him, though. Let's go, Scaletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. Pretty much lost everything he had. His mom's, like, his mom's really sick. His sister's mad at him. And now he's pretty much losing all his money, too. But again, he'll have that back quick. So, not, it's not a big deal, but. Plus, ten years is a long time to be in jail. You know, like, yeah, like, miss out on a lot of stuff. Whoa. Is that a shower I hear? Nope, 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 nope. I'm kidding. I do hear a shower, though. Oh, my God, no. I am not getting a no shower. This is prison. You know that, right? I will get raped. This is not happening. This doesn't, doesn't really look like there's much raping going on here, though, so it's okay. At least I think it is. Oh, that's disgusting. Gotta clean the urinals? That's gross. What's the matter? Keep cleaning, or else. Hey, looks like wow. this one's still dirty. Clean it again. Asshole. Whatever. 
Looks pretty clean to me. Actually, no, n nothing in, in here looks clean, but it's a prison in the 1940s, so I'm not surprised. I mean, even prison prisons these days aren't really that glamorous either, so. All right, that's enough. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals. All right, Skeletta, get your clothes off and get cleaned up. Which that just doesn't right? sound great to me. Fia, prepare to be raped, bro. Just don't drop the soap. That's all I gotta say. What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. I knew it. Mm, I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way. Or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yeah, yourself. Yeah, Vito, you tell him. Okay. I guess you want it rough. Yeah, go for it. Beat your ass. <laughs> do that oh, again, Jesus. sweet Jesus. Sick motherfucker. Me Beat your ass senseless. Nice, man. Vito's a beast. Hey, hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? Oh, of course on? we get in trouble, right? Where's Frank? So dumb. Let's get blamed for everything. Don boy, you know the drill. Oh, and uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. No, 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 fuck! Mama died Aww. when Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went That's to so the funeral. So sad. Vito needs a hug. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg. <laughs> Literally. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. <laughs> 